This animation illustrates the total carbon emissions of the Edith Green Wendell Wyatt Building Modernization Project. The project starts with the embodied carbon emissions produced during the initial construction of the 1974 Edith Green Building. Embodied carbon is the sum of emissions from material procurement, manufacturing, and construction. These emissions occur at the time of construction and remain in the atmosphere for hundreds of years. During a building's life, operational carbon emissions are emitted through the energy use of the building systems. These emissions accumulate in the atmosphere over time and can be reduced at any point during the building's lifetime with efficiency upgrades. In 2010, the building was effectively worn out, which presented two potential scenarios. The first scenario was to demolish the original building and replace it with a new high-performance building. This option would have embodied carbon emissions from the construction of the new building, as well as the operational carbon emissions from its daily use. The second scenario, and what actually happened, was to modernize the existing building, dramatically enhancing its overall performance and safety. The building's foundation and superstructure were retained, reducing the embodied carbon of the project, while a high-performance envelope and high-efficiency systems were installed, which reduced the operational carbon emissions of the project. In comparing both scenarios, the reuse of the foundation and superstructure avoided 53% of embodied carbon emissions when compared with the new high-performance building. After another 40 years of operation, the modernized building will avoid 51% of the total carbon emissions that would have come from the original building. In summary, modernizing existing buildings is a very effective way to avoid embodied carbon emissions, which play an important part in the urgent task of reducing the overall climate impacts of the built environment.